Hello, hello, welcome to Pioneer Prosperity Movement. Here I am, Maddie, in front of you. Today, the topic is why? This is the most important topic that where why 97% of financially stuck, but the remaining 3% are thriving with freedom. Why? Why it is the case? You might be having these questions in your mind. Why I'm so stuck in my life? And what can I do? Or why, why I'm so different? What those 3% of people, how can they be? How can they are different? What actually they are doing? What kind of the things they are doing? So likewise, you may be having so many number of questions that you may be having in your mind, right? So this is the answer. You are in a right place to break through from the, any of the barrier that you may have so far. And followed by the end of by, by this, at the end of this session, you will get a complete idea and not only just idea you'll get the complete uh, like the insight about how you can change yourself how you can transform from financial stuck position being in the 97 percent as majority to the three percent who can able to thrive and live with time freedom location freedom and financial freedom hey i'm maddie here whether you may or may not know, know me so i'm maddie here who lived in the kind of as a 97 person but now i'm living as a complete three percent of people with a complete time freedom and location freedom besides creating a true financial wealth as well so here i'm maddie in front of you so let's go dive in straight away so in that case i'm going to give you the comparison, not as a comparison, I'm going to give you the how those three percent can able to thrive in life. Why not the remaining 91 percent? So I'm going to give you five minds mindset traits and three strategical traits. Why? Because the success is any aspect, the freedom in any aspect, or wealth creation in any any aspect is 90 percent. Sorry, 80 percent mindset. I repeat again, the wealth creation or success of freedom, if you say financial freedom, that includes as well, is 80% mindset and 20% is only skill set. You must keep that in mind. So in that case, we must talk more about the mindset when compared to the skill set. So let's go and dive in straight away. The five main straight my mindset, the five main straight mindset. What happened to me? <laughs> the five main set mindset. Come on, the five mindset traits that three percent have, but not the remaining ninety-seven percent. Or number one, we will start with. So make a note, and if you have any questions or if you have any kind of comments, drop in the comment below so that I'll be in a better position either to address it now or later after or after the end of the session. So the first and foremost is nothing but visionary, the thinking, visionary thinking. That's what the most important thing that you must think about. Missionary thinking. So they have the end goal in mind. The 3% of the people are having the end goal in mind. I'm looking into my notes as well. They define themselves. They define what freedom really means to them. So because if many people, are, if many of the people, if you ask like how much money that you want to make, I want a lot. What does a lot mean? If they, if, they, if they ask about financial freedom or if they say like, I want to be having a good life. What means good life? So ask yourself, what really financial freedom means to you? What do you mean wealth? What do you mean living a freedom of life means to you? What actually can you can pictureize yourself? What is your exact specific vision? If you don't have, that's where exactly you must start. So in that case, the 3% of the people, they have their vision. They have a clear exact specific vision with that visionary thinking they step ahead forward they go ahead forward because they know exactly where they are heading to all right it's something like you're driving a car without knowing your destination i want to reach there but where no no i just want to reach there where so likewise, you must know where exactly you are reaching to. I'm not saying success is a destination. Whereas you must know what you, what you are determined to achieve in one year time, in two years time, in five years time, or in 10, 10 years time. You must have a vision in mind, a clear vision in mind that gives you the thinking, the thoughts, the goals, and the and the, and the exact path, the path towards achieving those vision in the specific time period that you are can able to proceed with or else you will be just drifting around. 
So what kind of vision that you have and for that vision, what is your goal? That's what the 3% they are different from the 97%. Number one. The second most the mindset strat, uh, traits are nothing but the courage over comfort. I repeat again, courage over comfort. This is the most important thing. The reason because 97% of the people put their fear first. Because of the fear, they will dampen. They will just get stuck with that. I'm not confident. I'm not uh, courageous enough to do it. I can't do this. I am this kind of person. Likewise, they define themselves and they're stuck with where they are by being secured, safe and being comfortable. But being comfortable is not going to produce any sort of growth, any sort of freedom. Because being comfortable in a safe, secured zone, of course, a person can able to be in the life, but they can't grow. It's nothing but stagnation. It's equal to dying. Whereas the 3% of the people, you know what they do? They don't rely on comfort. Rather, they make the fear as a fuel. Even a Jim Brown mentions this. Use fear or else fear uses you. Use fear before it uses you. Got it? So, if there is a fear, the 90s, the 3% of the people still have the fear. They are not fearless, but they do, do it anyway. They use the fear as a fuel. Courage over comfort. How? By means of taking a related action relevant action even a small step because without taking an action you will always remain being in a fear so what you must do how you must overcome fear or how you must overcome the lack of confidence is nothing but just take action by listening to your heart coming from by coming out of from coming out of your heads don't get stuck here just lean on to hear what your heart says and if you look at the opportunity what it says does it does it align with you and then does it say that you can able to progress with that? Just step ahead forward and be around with that kind of people. Be around the high achievers, not be around the naysayers. Did you get it? That's how the 3% are different. Courage over comfort. By means of investing in their, investing in themselves, invest in, investing in their, investing in, uh, the, by willing to invest on their time and money for themselves by working hard on themselves. That's how the 3% are different. So the third most important trait is, oh my God, this is the most crucial thing, the abundance mentality. Of course, it also addresses the money mindset. Money mindset. When you talk about money, definitely you can resonate to this. Too much of money is not good. I am not greedy. Those who are rich are not real people, are not good people. Is it anything, is it something resonant to you? Yeah? That is what the problem here. When you keep on worrying about money, oh, money is the only problem, problem in my life. Oh, I don't know where the money goes. How much of I earn, the money just flies like that. Money is the only problem. I all, um, and then always looking for cheapest options. Always looking for, I'm always saying that I'm not affordable for it. This is what I can be affordable. And if you keep saying that around it, around the money, that's what the energy that you have and how you can expect the money to come into your life. Whereas the 3% of the people and followed by this mentality of the 97%, they protect money. They neglect the time. They don't protect their time they misuse their time how by means of working for money by trading their time for money whereas the three percent of the people protect their time by using the money because money is not limited the 97 percent believe money is limited so they save and protect the money with what they have by means of budgeting whereas the nine three percent of the people they know the time is limited, but not the money because money is unlimited here. So they use the money. They still respect the money, but they don't value the money. The 97% value the money, but the 3% respect the money. They don't value the money. Rather, they use the money to make more money because they know that they with that abundance mindset, they protect the time and they use the money to make more money because with the abundance mindset. Did you get it? You got this what I mean to say. The money mindset is one of the crucial factor. It's not only just 
important it's one of the crucial factor where the 3% is completely different from the 97% you got this so you must change if you are in intention to change you must shift from 97% to 3% how by means of gradually changing your money mindset from scarcity mindset i have only this much i am worried about money i am not here to give i am here to save protect money this is a hard earned money if you say so you are in the 97% you always face some sort of financial situations or struggle yeah whereas if you are really determined to be a 3% then you must come out of that knowing with the abundance mentality without having a scarcity mindset money is unlimited get it i am not going i am not saying that go and spend the money lavishly no with a self discipline lifestyle how are you going to use that money to make more money beautiful right that's what is abundance mindset that you must have rather than getting stuck with the scarcity mindset so and moreover here because of the abundance mindset the 3% of the people make the money to work for them whereas the 97% of the people because of the scarcity mindset they work for money and protect the money so followed by that who is losing the time the 97% losing the time as a 3% living the life every single day with the time freedom also financial freedom got this that's what is abundance mindset you must have and the fourth important thing is a uh, uh, risk taking taking a calculated risk so as i shared with you, with you before the second and the third fear and also protecting the money followed by that the 97% of the people they hesitate to take risk risk averse oh risky no i am not going to say they just walk away they just run away because of the fear because of the doubt and they always seek excuses they always see the problem in the solution and they stay where they are oh it's too risky i am not going to do that i am not going to take it i am just quite comfortable in my comfortable life they always tend to be safe secure they always look for guarantee and followed by that the growth is stagnated whereas the three person what they do they spawn they evaluate they still evaluate the risk but they don't just stay comfortable uh, that's what i mean to say courage over comfort they step on by taking a calculated risk single step along the way every step along the way by surrounding themselves with that like optimistic success high achieving people and followed by that since they are quite risk quite uh, enough to take the calculated risk eventually they'll be in a better position to get the reward get it so are you taking that calculated risk every single day by challenging yourself yes by challenging yourself that's the most important thing because most of the people here including i was we just what to do what what we do is what we what i did and what we do is just sleep get up go to work come back sleep get up go to work come back sleep get up go to work come back this is what the usual routine of life will be yeah so are you challenging yourself every single day are you growing 1% every single day better than yesterday because the most important thing i need to uh, i need to point out here that's what the fifth point is i'm going to say it's nothing but the resiliency and con- un- consistency so it's not what you're doing today it's what you're doing every single day the every single day by challenging yourself by taking a calculated risk every single day when you do every single day 1% 1% 1% better than yesterday eventually at the end of the week think about at the end of the month think about at the end of the year you will become totally unrecognizable why i am saying this because they talk about me do you believe i was such a shy timid and introvert guy you know what my mom and my sister says i have two one younger elder and one younger sister say they can't believe that i am doing a live session like this they can't believe my social media presence why because i was such a shy timid and introvert guy until not so long 3 and a half years before but being like that being with that identity what i was doing i was dwelling into the same cycle over and over again and again by being comfortable with a fear with a doubt i was so stagnant 
So now, who is getting affected by that? It's not only me. Because I was so selfish thinking about me. No, this doesn't suit me. I'm not confident for that. I'm having a fear. I can't be in the social media. I'm having a, this kind of, I, I can't talk like this. I don't have, I'm not, English is not my first language. I used to say all those sort of excuses. But with those excuses, who is getting benefited? Me, being selfish. But who is not? My family. My family is not getting benefited with that. Is it not? That's the ultimate truth, right? So with this in mind, I challenged myself every single day. When I was started doing this live session during the early days, you, mu you must go back and look at it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't able even articulate two, three words in a sentence. But now I challenged myself. I did the continuous 1000 days of live session as well. Likewise, how far you are challenging yourself. Are you being one person? Are you being committed? Are you being consistent in your growth by means of challenging yourself? Not with someone, not competing, competing with someone. Are you competing with yourself? That's what exactly the three person do. They, they involve themselves in a daily non-negotiable habits. Because the habits, the habits that you have causes the rituals, that causes your thinking, that creates your thoughts, that creates your eventually actions in your place and eventually you will become confident so what kind of self self-disciplinary habits that you have? what kind of non-negotiable challenges that you are that you are competing with you every single day by making sure that you are one person better than yesterday that's it once you all know this all these five mindset traits mindset traits of the three percent eventually you will not be stuck with the 97 percent you will stand out unique you will become unique and that is where you will become the three percent as well got it you got this so these are all the five main mindset traits so now tell me which one resonates to you drop in the comment below what actually resonates to you from all these five mindset traits of the three percent what resonates to you what you must improve on drop in the comment below yeah and let's go into the strategies i mean skill sets what skill set traits are those 3% does have when compared to the 97%? There are three main skill sets that I'm going to bring in, first of all. So let me just scroll through. Number one, the 3% use leverage over hustling. I'm telling you, most of the people, including you, including I used to be, we are all have been so much indoctrinated, conditioned to believe in working hard, not on ourselves, on the money. Because we have been told right from the childhood, you must study hard. You must work and then you must study hard. And then you must study hard and get into the great university. You must get into the professional course. You must get it the you must study hard again in the university and then you must get a good job and you must work hard in the job. That's what we all have been told, right? Okay. If you say working hard is going to make you rich or make you be wealthy or make you live a life with a complete time financial freedom, look around. How many of the people around you who are working hard are living with complete time freedom? Living every single day rather than looking for a weekend life. Look around you. Not many, right? Why? And also just, okay, if you, if you deny that, how many of the people are buying the house outright? Put this way. Not many. Why? Most of them rely on the mortgage. Why? Have you ever questioned yourself? I'm not talking about the good debt and bad debt. That's a different topic. Why? That's what the most important thing that you must know about. Because working hard is no way going to take you to anywhere. That knowledge is outdated. I'm not saying working hard is wrong, but working hard in your job, working hard for money is no way going to make you rich, no way going to make you wealthy, no way going to create any sort of freedom of life that you're looking for. If you ever, if you ever have your mindset or a thinking about achieving the financial freedom, you must let go of the limiting belief of I must work hard. No, 
you don't need to work hard on the money you need to work hard on yourself by challenging yourself as i said before get it so that is why the three percent of the people they will have the skills of leveraging over hustling they don't hustle they don't grind but they leverage this has been beautifully mentioned in the cash flow quadrant by robert kiyosaki the 90s 5 to 97 percent of people who are in the left side of the quadrant as a worker as an employee and as a small business owner they work hard 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 whereas the three percent to five percent of the people on the right side of the quadrant as a business owner or as a as or as an investor they use a opt and opm other people's money and other people's time and followed by that they leverage opt the leverage opm they leverage the money to make more money that's it just look if you are working in a corporate company or if you are working in a job look at your boss what your boss is doing they leveraging not hustling like you get it why can't you be the boss come on why can't you be that boss to make the money to work for you leveraging over hustling and not only the second most important thing is even uh, even though they leverage the uh, leverage uh, over hustling they also invest themselves heavily in their own personal growth so now how much time or how much money that you investing for yourself on your personal growth on your personal i am not on your personal development i am not talking about the uh, the course that you are going through or uh, that you are reading about you are to in- enhance your what is called as a uh, Uh, the degree or the qualification i am not talking about that no 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 how much time every single day how much money that you are invested so far for your own personal growth for your own personal development and what kind of non negotiable self disciplinary habits that you have every single day when you get up in the morning what you do do you focus on spiritual mental physical and emotional before going to the job or are you rushing up and getting up and just suddenly going to the job what kind of lifestyle that you are living that is what is so important here get it are you investing on your personal growth whereas the three personal people the most important skill set is nothing they invest on their own invest their time invest their money on their own personal growth and development get it the last the most important thing is diversify and adapt they start with a focus plan but are willing to pivot as they grow what i mean to say is they focus on one one task first they put their all their focus on their one task and they focus on what they can only control now they won't focus on what they can't control they focus on themselves they focus on their path they focus on their vision the means of focusing on that one single task they become 100% proactive and productive on that one single task they put all on themselves into that it means going all in whether it could be a business it could be a real estate it could be a talk stocks anything they just focus on that one thing first one grows then afterwards the diverse that they diversify because they focus on enhancing their leverage income by means of leveraging as i shared in the first section they focus on leveraging so they focus on getting the leverage income first why because the leverage income is bad it's not rela- it's the leverage income is nothing but that you can make money without relying on time by means of that gives a gradual gives a passive cash flow and even if they don't rely on their job they don't rely on their linear income get it that is how they become financially unstuck get it they become financially free that's it so here are the five mindset traits i mentioned are nothing but i repeat again visionary thinking courage over comfort abundance mentality the money mindset the opportunities that you're looking for and calculate calculate taking calculated risk and resilience and consistency are the five mindset right 
and the three skill set traits are nothing but leverage over hustle make more leverage income invest in their own personal growth and personal development and diversify and adapt accordingly to evolve the means of challenging themselves that's it so these are the five main mindset traits and traits and skill set traits where the 3% are living their life by thriving with freedom every single day whereas the 97% are staying stuck financially and looking for this weekend life now i'm going to call you forward i'm going to challenge you as well are you the one looking to transform from 97% to 3% are you the one looking for a freedom of life to live every single day being a present parent if you are a dad or if you are mom i'm asking you drop in the comment below yes or no why because just by being in the 97% itself it's not going to create the life of what you really desire so if you ever having the desire to achieve that kind of freedom of life you must transform yourself to the 3% and it's not going to happen overnight no it's not going to happen overnight it's my experience it's not only my experience even in our business community there are 3 million people around the globe who are in our business community who are thriving and living life of freedom like us they all say the same it's not going to happen overnight it is a process success is a journey financial freedom is a journey it's not just by the money alone so have you determined yourself to achieve the freedom of life do you want to transform from 97% to 3% i'm asking you if so you must just drop in the comment below yes or no because knowing all this and not doing anything is nothing but not knowing also knowing all this staying stuck there is unnecessary and it's your choice come on both are hard knowing all this staying financially stuck unnecessary unnecessarily is also hard knowing all this coming out of the comfort and challenging yourself every day for the growth towards the freedom that not only for you but also for your generation both are hard choose your heart choose what excites you that's it so if you ever after challenging yourself you if you ever after thinking about moving from 97 to 3% and if you're looking for a right business model a right business opportunity a right kind of group of global business community of people here i am i am here to help you because someone helped me and i help myself as well i am so grateful for the business community that i am in those who are help, leveraging and helping me as well helping each other without having a competitive mindedness so if you are looking for such kind of business community if you are looking for such kind of group because you are the one among five people you are around with your quality of life your income your bank balance is everything is is, is a average of five people you are around with look around if you want to enhance, if you want to be financially free look around how many of the people around you are financially free if you want to have more money look around how many of the people around you are having more money so if you want to increase your bank balance or if you want to be financially free you must be around with the people yes of course the fear comes up yes of course the doubt comes up yes of course you be having a lack of confidence yes you have, of course you be having a blah 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 so Do you want to remain be a ninety-seven person, or you want to be thriving as a three person? It's your choice. I respect whatever you say. So drop it in the comment below if you choose to be a three person. Just drop it three percent. I'm here to take you through the journey. It's not only to take you through, but also I'm going to walk along with you. It doesn't mean I'm your boss. No, 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 no. I'm here as a leader, creating more leaders to lead and to impact many more. because what i believe is proximity is power and number 2 what i believe is everyone born here to live with the birth right of abundance affluence prosperity and freedom so are you living with that if not what i believe is being a present being a parent we must be a present parent with the kids now if you believe in so and if you are a parent like me or even if you are a young kid like 18 years old or 20 or 25 20 or 30 years old if you are determined to create that kind of life drop it in the comment below as 3% here i am going to show you the way 
as how it has shown to me how and how it is helping me how and how it exactly changed my life and with that biggest vision and for that vision because my aim is to make people to prosper in their life as a pioneer i mean a biggest vision with that movement as a pioneer prosperity movement here i am calling you forward by challenging yourself if you like to the fullest we succeed together <laughs>